The reason that we need to build a new engineering neighborhood is because engineering has changed. Our current facilities are 60 years old. They are not sufficient to do the kind of groundbreaking research that we need to benefit humanity through engineering and technology. So the School of Engineering is currently existing facilities, the EQUAR primarily, that were built in 1962. And those facilities are not state-of-the-art and do not support the kind of research that new facilities need. So this issue of being responsible to the type of research that the faculty want to do, providing the equipment and the facilities that they need to do that research, but also ensuring that that research is flexible, that's going to be the key to the design of these new facilities. These new teaching and research facilities would allow the High Meadows Environmental Institute to continue tackling some of humanity's most pressing challenges, such as climate change, water security, and the loss of biodiversity, among others. And to do so in a more collaborative and interdisciplinary framework that would allow us to develop solutions to these challenging and interconnected problems. The location of the building really is at the intersection of the sciences, engineering, policy school, and the, uh, the humanities. It's designed to be a magnet for bringing these groups together. And this will kind of be the cauldron of forging new fields, new ideas, and new interaction. Every department will have a place of identity, the kind of core of the faculty home. Uh, but those cores, I said, as I said, are connected with a set of hallways and a kind of interwoven set of spaces that bring faculty together for collaboration. And what the faculty have asked for, a shirt sleeve connection. So faculty will be able to walk the entire block here through the facilities for environmental studies, connecting to the facilities for seas, indoors. So the, the collaboration is fostered that way. If you ask people what are the important areas uh, for, for the 21st century, I mean, it's clearly computational work, computer science, and uh, biological engineering. These are the things that are going to transform society. Uh, right now, we're in the middle of a pandemic. Those kinds of challenges that are faced by society require um, cutting edge research at the interface of bio biology and engineering. And in order to achieve our goals on this front, we need to recruit top notch researchers. That is going to be, I think, impossible without the infrastructure to attract these folks. Building the new neighborhood is really about maximizing the impact of Princeton engineering to do the groundbreaking research that we need to solve these complex problems.